Greetings, my name is Tim Johnson. This is Recovery, Strength, Hope and Courage. I wanted to talk a bit today about boosting self-esteem and self-confidence, self-worth, if you like. It was a problem that I had to work on myself, particularly in early recovery, because um, I've carried the feelings throughout my life of a, a, a lack of self-worth and lack of self-confidence, even a sort of an introvertedness to a certain extent. And I used, and I'm sure a lot of you can relate to this, I used alcohol and drugs um, for many, many years to try and, uh, A, hide from those feelings. And, and I thought that, you know, particularly alcohol would give me self-confidence and, um, and, you know, it gives you, you think it does, it gives you, you know, maybe that boost, but it actually just makes things worse and you behave like a prat and it impairs your judgment and actually drives people away and then when those feelings wear off your self-worth and self-confidence are at an all-time low because you're in the addiction cycle with alcohol and opiates or drugs whatever your drug of choice is and that that cycle always takes you back to um self-loathing lack of self-worth um self-hatred guilt shame and all those things because of the regret that of what you've done and how you've behaved you know and, and you're still on this cycle so it's, it's a never-ending circle and it just gets worse and worse and worse so i knew that when i went into recovery that um so i wouldn't go back again to to using i um, amongst a lot of other things that i talk about in all my other videos um self-worth and self-confidence is something that i really had to work on and how do you do it you know how how do you go about doing that because a, a lot of you are in really busy lives and um and you've got children to look after you've got stress you know, maybe you're struggling for money uh, maybe you're out of work maybe you're you know maybe you're really in a, a, a poor situation you know and and you think well the last thing on my mind is 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 building my self-worth and self-confidence but the thing is, what you have to realize is, and I'll come on to this in a minute, but that you are enough, that you have to look at the reasons why you're going into this journey of recovery. Because if it's not to turn yourself into the best version of you that you can be, then what's the point? And you don't need money or or anything else to do that. You just you just need to, to start with by building your, your, your self-esteem and self-confidence and... Um, and other things which I talk about in my other videos, which I don't want to go into too deeply now, but, you know, your ultimate goal should be, you know, if you're going to ask what the point of life is, the point is to be the best version of you you can be, then you can be that best version version for you, your children, your job, your, just your whole life in general, you, you'll, you'll, you'll feel better about yourself. But back to, sorry, but I'm digressing, back to the subject that I'm talking about here. The biggest addiction at the moment on earth i believe is the addiction to seeking other people's approval you know and and this is this has come about by um well lots of reasons but the digital age we're bombarded with images you know the internet um social media and all those things we're told what we should look like what we should aspire to be what we should and what we should own the material things that that make us acceptable in society and um, you know, particularly, I feel really sorry for, for a lot of ladies in these situations that you're bombarded with images of stick thin models that, you know, this is the acceptable way to, to look. And, and what that does, it, it, it massively lowers your, your self-esteem and, 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 and causes lack of self-confidence and, and almost self-hatred. And, 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 and youngsters, girls and boys and, and, and adults end up self-harm or in addiction, you know, because of this, this pressure that society puts on us. But you have to realize that um, that you are a beautiful person, that you are enough. And this realization is difficult to, to, to grasp sometimes, you know, and it certainly was for me. Don't think that I haven't struggled with this because I have, you know, and it's only now that I'm, I'm, I'm reaping, you know, starting to reap some of the benefits of this. And my journey is still ongoing and will be for a long time into this best version. And, and but my self-esteem and, and self-confidence has, has improved a thousandfold to what it was and i'll tell you how i do that um or how i've done that and, and perhaps it'll work for you as well um but yeah these images you know because of approval from other people it's just not important you know um because we end up not approving or even liking ourselves you know because we have no um if, if we have no faith or no connection I, that's another subject um which is in my other videos and please subscribe and like if because more people see them otherwise you know and i've got 90 odd videos out there on a lot of these subjects 
And it's only my experiences, and I'm no genius, or I'm just trying to pass on my experiences and it's and what's worked for me. And if, if it's worked for me, then perhaps it'll work for you as well. But yeah, this this uh, approval business and and um, this lack of connection because we don't even get any. If you've got no connection, then you've got no sort of approval there as well, if you like. So. Um, we end up not liking ourselves or approving of ourselves, you know, because let's face it, people look on Facebook now for ticks, uh, likes, you know, that's a, you're looking for approval all the time. That's a massive addiction. I mean, even I'm guilty of that sometimes. I stare at my phone, you know, look at, and you get this dopamine rush in your head, the same as drugs and alcohol when you get a tick or a, a heart on something you post or, or, or whatever, you know, and it's, um, it's just a serious, it's just another addiction which you need to become aware of. And drop to one side because it's not going to help you at all. You know, you need to, you know, I'm not saying put your phone down forever because we need our phones in this modern society sometimes, you know. And, and But, you know, realise when it's becoming um, just a tool to, to seek approval, you know, as... as um, but anyway, how do you change? How do you change that, that uh, your self-esteem and boost your self-confidence and, and all the rest of it? Well, you do it in small steps. I mean, that's how I've done it. And you um, you begin by keeping the promises that you make to yourself in small steps. And what I mean by that is, you know, and it can be really small. I'm not talking about necessarily goals here. These are small goals. You know, you keep the promises you make to yourself. So if you say to yourself, right, I'm going to, um, and I'm going to keep it really simple here. Um, I'm going to drink eight pints of water today, you know, and you manage to do that. Then you would give yourself a pat on the back for doing this. You know, give yourself credit when you achieve those promises that you make to, your, to yourself, and they get bigger and bigger as you go into recovery, and it, and that really boosts your confidence in your self-esteem. Now, all this starts with your body, and and I harp on about this, and don't switch off now because there's other, there's, there's other stuff to come, but it really does because. You know, you, you've got no control about what people think about you at all. All this self-approval, all this um, social media stuff and, and all the rest of it. You've got no control over that. You've got no control about what your family, friends or anybody else thinks about you. You know, you it's as simple as that. You don't. But what you do have control of is your own body. You can control what goes into it and you can control how you move it and uh, etc and you can control how you think and how you behave and what your choices are and all the rest of it you know they're the things you can control so i started with my um in early recovery i started with what was i was putting into my body with these choices and and, and how i was moving it so that might have just been a 10 minute walk you know because i wasn't even going outside in addiction i wasn't even getting a breath of fresh air you know and i live in a beautiful place and um so yeah, so then I would, then I would, having done that and got out and done that ten minute walk, then I would, I would give myself kudos for it and credit, and that might seem a lot too. So, but it was massive for me, you know. It was that metaphorical pat on the back, that that self approval. Over time, you know, these things build up because it's like working any other muscle. Self confidence and self esteem and and self worth is like work, working any other muscle. You know, it gets stronger the more you use it. So, yeah, it started like that. You know, it started with, um, you know, you're not going to drop all the shit you eat in five minutes. You know, you, you, you know, it's took me out and I, I'm on a whole food plant based diet now, like, you know, which which is really suits me. And I'm, it's really reaping dividends, both in mood and body. But I'm not saying to you go on that and that to that extreme. That's taken 18 months to work towards that. And that was my choice to do that, you know. But those small steps started with me um, taking less sugar. You know, taking and 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 want I'd achieve that over a week, taking X amount of less sugar, then I'd give myself that pat on the back. I congratulate myself, and and and, and that promise I made to myself, I kept. And you know, necessarily goals. Don't get caught up in goals so much. Goals are really important. If you want to set yourself goals, that's a good thing. To, but don't get um, don't get obsess on the outcome of goals because if you start obsessing on the outcome of goals. Um, it can lead to a hollow life. It can lead to a sort of hollow existence, you know, because it's best just to take these small steps I've found and 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 just um, just just um, just keep the promises, the small promises you make to yourself, and those promises then build up and build up and build up and build up, and then you start working towards um, 
getting out and investing in people because people matter stuff doesn't you've got to understand that now you know in recovery you start to go towards this mentality and this feeling of why i'm here and and, and what's it all for and all the rest of it it's natural that you do that and the pink cloud of euphoria of, of it just evaporates and you think well this is getting you know why am i why am i doing this that, that, that initial euphoria is worn off but then you suddenly realize that you're in a position now to start giving service to start helping other people and being kind that's what we're here for because people matter and stuff doesn't as i say so you get out and you start doing that you might do a bit of volunteering you might help an old lady across the road you might start be kind knock on your neighbor's door when you if you realize they're ill and ask them if you want they want any shopping you start being kind to people you start to um realize that that kindness always comes back tenfold you know you start to you, you start to get and that really builds your self-esteem you start thinking well i'm not such a twat and a, a bad person after all i'm I'm actually quite a good person you know I'm actually getting out there and helping people and I do it um, online and I do um, you know I, I'm trying to make these videos to share my experience I, I do a bit of volunteering with the homeless I, I, but generally I'm, my days, I'm always I'm trying to look out to, to try and help people and, and just even a smile at people you know and it makes me feel better and it increases my self-worth and, it, and ultimately my self-confidence so you know bear that in mind but don't obsess on goals take these small steps keep these promises to yourself you know um that's what your purpose is really you know and and, and you've got to realize this and i just want to finish this by saying um it takes time this you need patience it doesn't happen overnight you're going to have days which are crap you've got to understand that you know you, you, you say that oh you know this is not going to work for me and there's but, and life happens and bad things happen and, and you're going to and they've happened to me just as they happen to you and it could be extreme like a death in the family or extreme sickness in the family or e eviction from your home and if you've got to if you want this life if you want this life badly enough in, in as much as um, you've made the effort now to, to either go towards stopping or or giving up alcohol drugs or whatever it is then your purpose is to become that best version of you that you can be because ultimately even if someone close to you does go or, or something bad does happen that best version of you will be a lot more use and and um to them or to your family to 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 yourself or whatever than than the old you would have been and that's your purpose that your purpose is to be there for your family and to be and and to do the best you can for them and but to do to ultimately to be the best version of you, you can be for yourself you know and 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 true happiness will then come it does it just does it, you know and i can't you know 80, i'm 18 months in now and you know i've never been happier in my life and i just wish i'd discovered this sooner i really do you know and i just want to reiterate to you now that you are enough i don't care what your situation is or 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 what you look like or how old you are or you know whatever whatever that is it doesn't matter what you can't control what people think about you but I want to tell you now that you are beautiful. You are full of goodness and you are enough. And you need to understand that, whatever your circumstances are. And no, we, we might not all live in mansions and, and drive fast cars, but none of that shit matters. What matters is giving back and giving service and being um, a, a kind, loving and helpful human being. Because ultimately that payback will be there for you and that inner happiness that you're you're all seeking or you all have been seeking will arrive it just arrives and it's a feeling of bliss and happiness and being blessed and grateful and thankful on an almost secondly basis throughout the day so there that's, that's all i want to say and thank you for listening and as i always say just remember that I always keep got this thing you know and i say it to myself time and time again it's better to die on your feet than to live on your knees it's better to die on your feet than live on your knees bear that in mind live life to the full carpe diem seize the day be the best version of you you can be i hope this has been helpful for you much love to you all Bye bye